Activity-based automation is some of the most powerful automation that you can program into Pipedrive. I primarily use Zapier. Many consultants also love Make, formerly Integromat, and Pipedrive is building out their own workflow automations as well. You can't do everything with workflow automations, but there are workarounds to get a lot of what you need built right within Pipedrive. So this is going to be an example of how you can build an activity cadence right within Pipedrive's workflow automations. So over here, on the left hand side you'll click more and then go to automations and here I'm going to click to add a new automation and my trigger is going to be just a new deal is created what I'm going to build is essentially a cold outreach flow so a new deal gets created an activity is created for my sales rep right away to perform an action and then a certain amount of time later if the deal is still open in that uh, kind of new deal stage so hasn't progressed forward to having booked a call or whatever that next action point may be then an additional activity will be created so here I'm going to do the trigger is that a deal is created here I've got myself in the wrong spot so I'm going to apply that trigger and then here if I want I can apply a, a filter um, or I can just go ahead and do an action so I'm going to create an activity when a deal is created and here you need to select the options that you want to program. Uh, I just have kind of a set of actions that I like. Time I don't need, duration I don't need, but some people may want to use those. So I'm going to do done, assign to, uh, all of the linking and the note, and next. Okay, so first my activity subject. I'm going to, I like to standardize these with numbers and kind of the same naming convention. So I'm gonna call this the number one cold outreach activity. Then I have a cool outreach activity type. I like that for reporting purposes. I can see how many cold outreach actions a, each of my sales reps is taking in a given day, in a given week, so on and so forth, because I have that as a custom activity type. Then the due date, I'm going to make this the same day and then I'm going to, it is not done. So I want it to be to do, not to done. And then assign to user. Um, I like this to be the deal owner because then if the deal owner changes, maybe one of your sales reps is out and you hand all of their um, reps off to another rep for the week that they're out of the office, uh, then it's going to dynamically create the activity assigned to whoever is the deal owner uh, when the condition is met. So deal owner. Link deal, uh, this is just the deal from step one, the organization from step one, and the person from step one. And then in the note here, I like to provide really detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Um, this kind of becomes like your SOP right within Pipedrive. Um, so when you hire a new sales rep, uh, you say, log in and go to your activities and follow the instructions, ask questions if you have them. You can link to sales scripts, so on and so forth. Uh, so I have this uh, pre-populated here. Um, so one, call contact to conduct or schedule an intro call. Um, if you connect, do this. If you do not connect, do this. And then mark the activity as done. And then my own kind of standard convention is, uh, so people aren't worried about what happens next in the system, I like to tell them what will happen. So if in three days the deal is still open and in this stage, an additional activity will be created. So no need to manually create an activity for yourself, set a reminder, so on and so forth. Three days later, or it could be five days later, one day later, whatever you determine, um, they know I'm going to get another activity if this deal hasn't moved forward, they haven't booked a call, so on and so forth. So I'm going to apply that action and then move me, myself back over here. I'll name it. So this will be the number one cold outreach activity. I'm going to save it. Then up here, you can make it active. I want it to be triggered by any user. So uh, whoever creates a deal, doesn't just have to be if I create a deal, this action is triggered and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Okay, so now I have that first activity getting created. Now I wanna create the follow-up activity. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and start a new automation. And this trigger is going to be that an activity is updated. So the activity subject is, and then I'm going to say number one cold outreach. 
and the I need the status. So here if I put in status, okay, so the activity status has changed to done. So when that activity is done, then I'm going to delay, right? I said three days. So I'm going to delay three days. I'm going to select to skip weekends. What that means is if on that three-day mark it is a weekend, it'll wait until the following weekday, so Monday, for the automation to actually run. So depending on your sales operations, you may want everything running through the weekend um, or you might want things to delay until Monday. So I'm going to skip the weekends. I'm going to apply the day and then I'm going to do my condition. So the deal stage is still new deal. Oh, excuse me, different pipeline, new deal. So if the deal is still in the new deal stage and I'll do that the deal status is open, then I want this automation to continue. So then in my last step, I'm going to take the action to create an activity. I'm going to select those fields that I want again. And then here, this activity subject will be the number two, cold outreach. It's going to be a cool outreach activity type. And then here, the due date, again, you can do in the future. I'm going to just do the same day. It is not done. It is assigned to the deal owner. And it's going to be linked to the deal org and person, uh, same as before. And then here, this is going to be the same. And then all plan as if I'm going to do the same steps here. So I'm going to apply this action. Then this will be the number two cold outreach activity. Save it, make it active, triggered by any user, and I'm going to save it. Perfect. So now I could run a test, but this test is going to take three days <laughs> with this delay step. So what I like to do is update the delays to be a custom period and I just do one minute. So I'm going to apply that delay and I'm going to save this automation. Now I'm going to go to my pipeline. And here in the pipeline, actually, see, this is the standard pipeline, and this is where I run, want to run that test. So I'm going to go back to my automations and I'm going to adjust my uh, condition criteria. So I had that the deal stage is new deal, but it was in a different pipeline. So I'm going to adjust this to be my standard pipeline. So if the deal is still in the new deal uh, stage of the standard pipeline and it's open, then this next automation will, or this ne next activity would get created. So going into this pipeline here, I'm going to add a deal and we'll just put in some test info here. I'll actually do Rachel. And I'm going to save this. And I should see this deal here got created. Fabulous. And there's, there's this activity, the number one cool outreach activity. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this as done. I'm going to keep the deal stage the same. So again, um, I could have moved it into the intro call scheduled stage, um, in which case the next activity would not be created three days later, but in our example or in our test, just one minute later. Um, but I'll pause the video and turn it back on once that automation has run. 
So here is that activity, um, which I'll show you happen via automation. Um, so I now have the number two cold outreach activity, again, one minute later, but would be three days later um, with that updated condition. So now back to automations. I wanna show you in the history here, you can see the runs of both of these automations. So this is where you can troubleshoot if something did happen that you didn't want to happen or didn't happen that you thought should happen. Um, you can see here, for instance, um, that this condition was met. I can see um, some of the information about it, but this is also one of the limitations of workflow automation is you can't see quite as much information uh, as some of the other tools like uh, Zapier and Make would give you, but there is some information to use to um, try to make adjustments. Um, so then what I'm going to do in my automations is, one, if I wanted to create a number three cold outreach activity, I could go ahead and just duplicate this and make the edits um, accordingly. But if I just want that two-step flow, I would come in to edit this automation, update this delay to be a three-day automation delay, apply that delay, click save, and then I would be all set.